Uh, it's a one gigahertz processor, which is pretty much standard now on Android. Uh, it has a 16 gig micro SD card that comes with it, so uh, some pretty nice storage. Uh, a four inch super LCD display at 480 by 800 resolution. Uh, so this, when they made the Droid Incredible 2, if you remember, or the Droid Incredible, uh, which we did review before, uh, they started out by making AMOLED displays for it. Uh, but then they had that shortage and they ran out. So they had to switch to some super LCD displays, I think made by Sony. Mm. I don't know if that's who's still making them, but I would place a bet that that's probably right. That's cool. So uh, it also comes with a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. It's nice to see Verizon phones coming with these front facing cameras. We dogged them before yeah, about where, that. Is it that little kind of little tiny thing in the corner there? Yep, on the right side. Oh, that's cute. And it has a 1450 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so, huh. and an eight megapixel camera on the back. And it's got that Pretty weird kind of like the the double layer like topographic map kind of feel. Yes, the multi tiered. Yeah. backing or whatever but this is nice it's something about this backing that is just very nice in the hand when mm -hmm. you're holding it uh i don't know your hands aren't used to something smooth mine are you know well i mean yeah i don't know if you if you've gotten them used to like but it, it feels almost like evolutionary that your hands aren't you're used to gripping rocks or used to gripping you know, things that aren't like regularly shaped. Uh -huh. And there's something about this oh, yeah, phone totally. being irregular uh, that makes it just, it sticks in your hand. It doesn't you know, hurt. You don't, I, like I could hold it, it like this. Yeah, it doesn't hit there's any a little bit points. of finger curl. And, it, it, you know, you can hold it because there's that little ledge there. Huh. So. Wow, I never would have thought about that. It does get a little, it looks like it gets a little dirty. Yeah, a little bit. But every phone does that. Yeah, but it hides well. This is flat, you know, light. Yeah. on it or whatever I you mean, can't really see it during the daylight you don't even want to look at an iphone and this thing is like i mean it's all black, flat black. i mean I, I know it's weird because i got it on this black background <laughs> and stuff but like it is all all black even the htc logo except for this with google it's kind of like a dark gray oh of course so you can see that in there but of course google it's kind of kind of weird like and that Verizon. so i like the soft rubberized stuff like you said the multi-tier thing here is is really cool. the The front of it yeah. is is rounded like the uh, the G two. Uh -huh. I think started out that pattern. Totally. Uh, the Thunderbolt we reviewed kind of looks like this, like this top part up here. That's kind of. It's like the new HTC feel. Yeah. Of phones, so this kind of takes cues from that as well. Uh, pull it up here. So and they got the headphone jack. Oh, that's nice. Which this fits. Uh, some of the phones that we, you know, that I've tried to put some of the headset jacks into, I have problems with. Uh, this fits quite well. That's cool. So it's got the noise canceling microphone. Ooh, double flash. So yes. Double LED flash. And that's What's the speaker that? right there. Oh, that's. So cool. and that's the black HTC logo again. This phone, I don't know for, for my money, it just ex thing the bottom. exudes cool. That's it. I don't. You know, here, let me show you something. I'll pop. Go ahead and leave it zoomed in. Cause so I'm gonna pop these off here. Open this. Open up the back of this bad boy. Pop it. I don't know what these are. Like I don't know if they're antennas or what. But oh, this weird. is where the holes are. There's contacts on the phone right there. Uh huh. And yeah. they line up with these. What? And again, up here. There's contacts on the phone, and then line up with those. Is there anything outside? And that has a little thing right there. Just like a. Like and that a has sensor. two of them down here. Just so like I don't thing. know if I don't know if those are, like the noise canceling microphones, and that's how they hook up to the outside of the phone to, I don't you know, to so. properly do that or what. It almost looks like a port or something like. Well, like these look be... like I think these are antennas. You, you know so? that these, uh, yeah, I think that this Those is an really antenna little. that comes right out, and just ha just so that's on the outside of the phone. Huh. But this is all speculation. I really don't know what the heck it is, but that's pretty cool. I haven't seen this before. Yeah, neither have I. So that's why I wanted to ask what it was. So I was like, yeah. What are those little breathing holes. Yeah, something something interesting. Huh. The back snaps on quite easily though. I see that. Heck of a lot better than my Evo does. Yeah. So again, like I say, the top 
Uh, it's that new HTC style. Uh, everything is all black. And the capacitive buttons don't show up at all uh, when the phone is off. I'll even uh, give Good it a little wipe. Uh, wipe down here on the bottom. You see over here on my Evo. Uh, when, the, when the phone is off, you still read all the buttons. They're right there. Um, but on this one, they're not. Nothing. Let's see when I turn it on. Ooh. Uh, they light up all nice and pretty. Uh -huh. And the Evo buttons light up nice too. But yeah. So, yeah, you got that going on. So one of the one of the interesting things though about this is if I pull up an app that will rotate, uh, these capacitive buttons actually will spin. So that if you get it in portrait mode, they look like every other Android phone. Mm -hmm. If you put it in landscape, what they just changed? They automatically flip over. It's very subtle. Do it, and try and get it to go Ooh, slow motion. Flip. There it goes. Nice. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, if you're the kind of person that uh, uses the phone a lot in landscape mode, it can get very annoying that the buttons aren't lined up. It's just those little things. Mm -hmm. Um, that's very cool. The one thing though is that it it does not do it this way. Oh, it yeah. just goes into regular. And what's funniest to me is the Verizon commercial that's running for these right now. Uh, shows the HTC Incredible. It's totally awesome. And then it shows it rotating this way. <laughs> and of course, the buttons don't rotate, and they don't do it on the commercial either. Oops. And then it rotates back. Never mentions or shows the buttons rotating like this. Oh. where they do it automatically. I'm like, why'd you do that? That is a total failure. And it's total... Well, it's kind of cool how it does it, too, because it's not, like, changing. It's just the alignment of the LEDs and the way that the buttons use the backlighting. Yeah. So, like, the motion sensor tells when you're on one rotation, and it lights up a different set of LEDs on the bottom there. Yeah. Which, again, I don't know, especially if they're going to show it rotating this way on the commercial... <laughs> It should rotate that way. And it's novel. I love it. You know, um, yeah. ice cream sandwich isn't supposed to have any buttons at all, so it'll yeah. probably make those uh, that obsolete. But I love this. Well, at least I really they can do. turn them off then. Yeah, that's true, and you never see them again. Yep. Um, but like I say, it's, you know, the phone has a lot of personality. You know, mm -hmm. I like the, the color, the feeling of the phone, the rotating buttons. It's all kinds of little things like that. Where if you just train yourself to rotate it only this way, uh, you'll never run into that issue. Right. Um, but one thing that I do have to gripe about, uh, the 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 original Droid Incredible uh, had the you know the volume rocker alongside just like this does. This is in fact the only button that it has other than the power button is this volume rocker. Yep. Um, but when you watched videos, yeah, in landscape mode, on the original Droid Incredible. And you wanted to turn up the volume. Uh -huh. Normally on Android phones, you press the up, like you're looking at it in portrait. The volume would go up. Yeah. But if you're watching a video in in landscape mode on the original Droid Incredible, you press the down because that was the direction to turn up the volume. Mm. So you press it that way, the volume went up. Yeah. It made perfect sense. It did. I thought it was an excellent touch. They don't do that on this phone now. Oh. So you have to go to the volume up is this way. And then you see the volume meter go this way as the volume goes up. Yeah. So, yeah. again, they took the time to make these rotating buttons on the bottom <laughs> as an excellent touch that I adore. I love it. But then they took away the thing that we went on and on about. Go back and look at the text, you know, search for HTC yeah. Incredible. You'll see, like, I went on and on about how awesome this was. Yeah. Because, I mean, I just absolutely loved it. It made sense. You rotate the phone. The buttons are in a different orientation. They should behave differently. And yeah. I've never seen it again since that original Droid Incredible. Yeah, maybe people just think physical buttons deserve a physical, like, they're hardwired in. Yeah, they and they, they always way. behave the same way, right? Yeah. Well, Apple got over that. Maybe HTC can finally get over that, too. Yeah. So, <laughs> Apple got over it? Orientation slash mute switch. You can change it. Oh, yeah. So. Totally. But... I guess the, uh, the last thing I wanted to run down, this runs the Sense UI by HTC, so you'll mm -hmm. notice that this is Android, yes, but not like you might know it if you uh, are fans of regular vanilla Android like we are. So right. some extra little things. 
on the bottom here you have the app drawer on the left instead of located in the center uh, with a phone uh, button right there as well and a personalized button.